This is a gaming chair. You are supposed to game in. You can sit or you can game. That's pretty much what you're supposed to do. That's what it's for, right? Gaming, you're getting some very important gaming done. But this is also a stereo guitar amp. So the way this works is that it's a gaming chair. It's got speakers in it so you could hear the game while you're playing. And what I've done is I've routed an output on my interface, one of my interfaces, to the input on this chair. And then I just route my guitar to send the signal. It's a pretty hot sort of preamp. It distorts nicely. And like any amp you'd want, it cleans up when you play softly. But if you dig in, it'll get some dirt. It actually sounds like a legit guitar amp. It sounds nice, like it, it compresses the signal a little bit, which is kind of what you want guitar amps to do. You want, when you hit hard, rather than having full dynamic range, you want it to kind of like soak up and distort and saturate. That's what you want guitar amps to do. They kind of round the sound out in a nice way. They help your guitar sit where it needs to. And this does all those things. You don't want that much dynamic range in your tracks, in your guitar. You'd be surprised how many tone options you actually have on one of these things. There's usually a tone or an EQ section, so you can kind of EQ the amp, which is what you need in a guitar amp, right? You can get it to distort more or less by just feeding it less juice and then turning up the volume, or if you want it to distort, you can turn the volume down and then just send it a hotter signal. On this chair specifically, there's just a volume knob and a bass knob. It sucks out the bass. I tend to just leave the bass all the way up because this chair is pretty shrill without it. It's pretty shrill in general so you kind of gotta roll that tone knob you know just be careful of harshness because it's pretty common on this that's the only thing you got to be careful of is that it can be a little bit harsh so before I get started I should mention my signal or lack there of any because I'm not doing anything to my guitar I'm going into my interface back out of it into the chair that's it there's no amp modeling no compression no EQ it's just straight into the chair another thing of note is I did say this is stereo so I'll have some stereo demos later if you can run a stereo signal to it it'll spit out stereo signal back if you send it a stereo delay through your DAW it'll play it back in stereo it'll have bloop 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 and I'll have some demos of that later where we show some cool stereo effects I'll do some delays delay. and we'll see how it sounds in stereo but for now I'm just gonna demo it in mono just with this microphone and the camera mic and that'll give you a good picture and then for the real stuff I'll mic up both sides in stereo and we'll get the real picture of how sick this guitar amp can actually sound or this gaming chair can sound as a guitar amp. so first I'm gonna demo it just as like through every pickup some different tones some different styles we'll talk about how it does some things well how it doesn't do some things I'll just give you the full lowdown on this stupid chair that is an amp now I have decided my guitar is a Schecter ATX C8 it's basically just a Schecter H string it's got Seymour Duncan blackouts as the pickups one bridge, one neck, three-way switch, two volumes and a tone. That's my guitar. We'll start with neck pickup, tone all the way up. Let's just see what that sounds like. I'll just play like some soft clean stuff first. <laughs> it's a little distorted already. But I've got it running hot right now because I wanted it to be able to go. Get my, my rumble sound, which it's perfect for. The rumble sound, it's not gonna do like Mesa Boogie, triple rec, super tight, distort, dun 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 dun. it's not gonna do that kind of stuff. But if you want like a more overdriven, it's great for that, which is why I'm playing rumble. 
because that's basically what rumble is, you know, back in the day. It was just a guitar amp turned up too loud to the point of distorting. So first, neck pickup. I'm gonna try and get a little bit clean. I'm probably gonna roll off a little bit of the input or the output on my guitar just to clean it up a bit because I've got it to where if I roll up all the way, we get a little bit of dirt and if we're down, we'll clean up. It can do it a little bit if you just play softer, but I, it's still too hot for that. So I'm gonna roll off the volume a bit. Okay, so there's some clean neck pickup stuff. It sounds not bad for that. You know, when I start doing some of the more... If you get a bunch of notes, like really extended jazz voicings, it might not sound great. I mean, it sounds okay. It's just pretty quick to distort is the thing with the sample. So you always need to be careful with that is that it doesn't get very loud without distorting. But I mean, it's guitar. <laughs> That's kind of what you want. You just gotta be careful when you're playing very dissonant chords. But when you can get away with that, when you're only playing chords with like two voices, it sounds really great. It kind of adds those harmonics you might want. So now let's go to middle position. Kind of more of the same, just a little bit brighter, a little bit uh, more attack. You may even like this better because it maybe sounds more clean. The more low end you kind of throw this thing, the quicker it is to distort. So it's up to preference. But you can hear, when I'm not giving it that much juice, it still kind of distorts easily. What am I gonna say? Like, that's what this chair does. If you don't like it, then maybe don't try this, but if you like a little bit of dirt in your clean sound, go for it, it sounds really cool. Mm-hmm. 
Here's a little bit of bridge pickup. Okay, and since I have an eight string guitar, I'll go ahead and show. Okay, and since I have an eight string guitar, I'll go ahead and show off the low end response, but I'll tell you it's not great because, like I said earlier, this chair likes to distort quickly when it is sent low end. So we'll give it a shot, but it's not the best. So as you can see, it's not the best for low end extended range guitar stuff. Uh, it sounds cool if you want to do like dirty baritone kind of like spaghetti western maybe. But as far as like ultra clean jazzy stuff, it, it's just going to distort too much is the thing. Maybe you could find a chair where you can roll off the input and get a nice cleaner signal, but it's not made for that. You know, get like a nice clean amp if you want to do that kind of stuff. 
this is not the best for that. This is DIY dirty guitar amp. Think of this as basically like an, a nice overdrive pedal with an amp sim built into it. Can't really get away from the overdriven signal part of it. It's pretty much always overdriven to some degree. Speaking of overdriven, the last thing we're gonna do before testing out the stereo capabilities is check out what it sounds like when you give it some juice. What does it sound like if we're going for that dirty sound? Well, here we go. Personally, for the dirty stuff, I feel like neck pickup is kind of the best for the dirty stuff just because the middle position gets so harsh and so high end -y. The saturation is not soft clipping, it's very much hard clip digital kind of preamp sound. So, I mean, if you want real dirty, harsh stuff, you can try these other positions and we're going to, but my personal favorite is the neck pickup and I'll even like roll off the tone a good amount of time whether I'm playing clean on this thing or dirty just because it gets so harsh. But here you go, here's the middle position. And lastly, we're gonna do some dirty stuff on the bridge position, even though it sounds pretty dang harsh. some stereo stuff. I'm gonna flip through different pickup configurations. I'll probably be rolling the tone knob and the volume knob. You've heard pretty much what this thing sounds like, very bare and very dry. So now you'll hear how I'll actually use it, which is sometimes with an amp sim before it, but eh, it kind of distorts enough on its own. You can do either or. You can run an amp sim before it. It also sounds really cool if you run an overdrive into it or a fuzz into it, just to get it even more dirty, closer to like a, a distorted sound rather than an overdrive driven sound.
gaming chair, guitar amp. Try it out. I guess. Bye. Okay, so this is me later. I forgot to mention that the chair also has an output on it. That should be in the pictures. Maybe you're seeing them right now. So you could, in theory, send the signal that's already going into it into another stereo source. So if you had another stereo guitar amp, you could do another one. Or you could just route it to another guitar amp in mono, it would be fine. Just another cool feature that these things have. You could send the signal to an entirely another thing. And it should be clean too. So you could route it through like an effects or something. Thing, use it as an insert I don't even know there's like so many possibilities with that so just a thing to keep in mind that I forgot to mention there you go